Hello everybody at Glasson, David Jones here. Just amusing as we come to the end of a, a strange and difficult year about my own situation, you know, I normally I'd be away gallivanting around East Africa or Turkey or somewhere like that with my golf designs. That's obviously all been put paid to this year. But it's been a privilege and an honour for me to have that uh, commission to redo the, the final six holes at Glasson. As I'm sure you know, Chrissy Jr. and I were good friends. And in fact, it's hard to believe that come January, it'll be five years since he slipped away from us. And he and I, just before he left, were sitting in Mount Woolsey, having a pint, chatting about how fortunate we were in our advanced years to be still playing golf, designing golf courses, and getting pleasure out of this great, great, great game. So it's particularly poignant for me to have the, the job of honouring his legacy at Glasson, and I think I've done it justice. Uh, we have, as you know, replaced the 14th, the 17th, two long par fives, with two, what I think are more accessible and interesting par fours that really benefit the golf course. And uh, I have a feeling that uh, once those six holes bed in, that dream that Tom and Christy originally had for the golf course will really come to fruition again and we'll be able to, to bring it back to a new level and, and right to the fore of Midlands golf. And I know in the new owner, Paddy's a great supporter of it. He's really got behind the project, not a golfer himself, but when he saw what we were doing and how we were recycling those old rocks we were getting up from underground to face the lakes and so on, he really got quite excited and quite behind it. So he's determined to see Glasson brought back to the top and um, he's asked Lynn and I to produce a three-year plan to look at all aspects of the golf course, the rest of the golf course, cart paths, maybe a bit of bunker redesign, general conditions, uh, upgrades of greens, whatever it takes. And uh, he's a great client and he's got big ambitions for for Glass and Lake House and uh, I'm going to help him and Lynn's going to help him to bring those to fruition. Lynn, so enthusiastic, so energetic, so full of beans, right behind this, passionate about it. I know she's been sending you some drone footage. So I look forward to seeing you in the springtime when we'll be putting the last few touches to the drainage of the trees and the, and the fine tuning. And uh, getting some feedback from you, and we can all look forward come May to the rebirth of Glasson and enjoying those new holes. So, thank you all for your patience. I look forward to meeting you, and uh, you'll be watching this over Christmas possibly, but have a great 2021. Thank you very much.